In this presentation, we will show an intervehicular communication study utilizing the Dell Cross Savant software for predicting the installed performance of a suitable antenna in both static and dynamic environments. This video, part one, will focus on selecting the best physical location for a candidate antenna design for both forward and rear radiation pattern coverage on an automobile. Savant is a commercial electromagnetic analysis software product aimed at solving electrically very large problems using modest computer systems. Savant is geared toward analysis of installed antenna patterns, near field radiation modeling, and accurate prediction of antenna to antenna coupling for application geometries that may be tens, hundreds, or thousands of wavelengths in size. Intervehicle communication is receiving a lot of attention today as a way to create more effective automotive safety systems and also presents interesting opportunities for delivering a range of navigation, passenger services, and entertainment options. A frequency band centered around 5.9 GHz has been proposed for dedicated short-range communications on which to base such a network. At this band, however, typical vehicles and physical features found around the roadway can become electrically significant, leading to a variety of effects which must be considered by the designer, such as multipath, fading, signal flicker, and electromagnetic blockage. In this study, we'll consider a candidate antenna design for 5.9 GHz. While multiple antennas could be used, cost considerations drive us to select a single antenna that will provide relatively omnidirectional coverage. As we'll see, the location of the antenna on our car will dramatically affect the radiation pattern of our antenna. Savant predicts the installed radiation pattern quickly and efficiently. Note that at 5.9 GHz, our vehicle is about 75 by 41 wavelengths in size and nearly 31 wavelengths high. This would be a very large and long problem to analyze using traditional full-wave EM analysis software tools and would probably require exotic hardware. Savant solves problems like this efficiently on typical desktop computing systems. We'll consider three antenna installation locations using Savant. A rear top position, position 1, a center top position called position 2, and then another position on the front forward called position 3. A blade monopole antenna is chosen because of its reduced size and aerodynamic shape. The antenna design selected has been synthesized to typical requirements using the Antenna Magus package from Magus Software. Antenna Magus automatically creates a fully parameterized antenna design ready for simulation or optimization in a full wave 3D electromagnetic software package. In this case, we use the CST Microwave Studio software to perform a detailed full wave analysis of the isolated antenna with an assumed infinite flat ground plane. Current source elements representing the antenna in a near field bounding surface, known as a Huygens surface, are extracted from CST Microwave Studio and applied to the Savant's SBR solver to, to provide an accurate excitation for the installed antenna. We first consider the antenna pattern that results when the antenna is mounted at the rear of the top of the car. The red curves show the isolated antenna pattern over an infinite ground plane, and the black curve shows Savant's prediction of the pattern when the actual car body is considered together with the antenna. As you can see from the center graphic, coverage is good to the rear of the car, but suffers in the direction of the front of the car. This simulation required only 35 seconds for Savant to deliver 3D far field information at over 65,000 observation points on a standard laptop computer with a standard graphics card. Near fields for this installed location are computed in only 17 seconds and clearly show the lack of radiation toward the front of the vehicle. Next we consider the installation at the center of the top of the car. Focusing again on the center graphic, we see a more balanced reduction of pattern at the horizon, and forward and back radiation are approximately equal. This simulation requires less than a minute on a laptop. A quick simulation of the near field confirms that the energy is spreading relatively equally in forward and reverse directions. 
Finally, we consider the case where the antenna is mounted toward the front of the vehicle on the front hood. Forward radiation is shown to be quite good, but radiation toward the rear of the car suffers quite a bit. A quick simulation of the near fields for this case confirm the lack of near fields toward the rear of the car. Based on the three simulations, each less than a minute on a laptop, we see that the center location provides the best pattern coverage in a single antenna. If stronger front and rear coverage is required, it may be a good idea to consider a dual antenna approach. However, a single antenna is desirable from a cost standpoint. In part two of this study, presented in the next video, we will use this vehicle to look at a dynamic environment where the car is being passed by a large delivery van on a typical roadway environment. Thank you for viewing this Dell Cross Technologies presentation. For more information, feel free to visit us on the site at www.dellcross.com. For North American sales and support, contact Dell Cross Technologies or our agent, CST of America Incorporated. And outside North America, please contact CST AG.